luck can be reduced to uh, several different variables, but the most obvious of which is variance. And variance means that like, what, how, so like let's say you have um, an average expected outcome over time. Um, for instance, I'll tell you that pocket aces against pocket kings, if you go all in before the flop, over time, um, the average result is gonna be that 80% of the time the aces are gonna win and 20% of the time the kings are gonna win, more or less. Um, variance means how often does your actual results deviate from the mean or the expectation. And the thing is, there's a lot of things which affect uh, how often you're gonna deviate from the expected outcome. And so um, learning to find things that control and, and make your expected uh, possible range of outcomes come closer to the expected outcome is what makes you a good poker player. You learn how to um, control pot sizes. Obviously, the, the bigger the pot you play, the more the, your results are gonna vary from your expectation for a lot of reasons. A, you're going to increase the incentive for other people to try to suck out on you um, or get lucky in the pot. Um, B, you're going to um, increase the amount of chips that's gonna cost you should you lose, for instance, with the aces the 20% of the time that you'll lose against the kings. Uh, it's going to cost you more if the pot's bigger, so you learn to control pot sizes when you're controlling variance. Another thing is, is um, you, you learn the statistics and the odds, like like the aces against kings example I gave you. I mean, you can give me any two cards against each other, and I can tell you uh, which one's a favorite and what percentage of the time they'll win. Understanding that influences which hands I choose to play in the first place. Uh, choosing to play in position or out of position is a way you control variance. There's a lot more variance if you have to act first. So we don't play out of position nearly as much um, or for nearly as much money as we're willing to play in position. And the reason is simple that when you're in position or last to act, you have a lot more information when you're making a decision. And more information means uh, more accurate decisions, which means less variance.